Well, we've heard about how the neighborhood of watch is here tonight just because he's getting paid by Mr. Class. I think the man standing next to me, Mr. Rip Sawyer, is here out of passion and belief, and I want to hear what he's got to say about all this. I ain't got a whole lot to say about that big schmuck that he brings out here that he writes the checks and snaps the necks. What do you want me to say? There's not a whole lot I can say. I, the couple guys that were here out here uh, earlier, they're a little hard to follow up on in the interviews. You got a, a meat eater that comes out here and then you got a little good east in the room, east in the room, comes out here and he talks all suave and sophisticated. And then you got that big schmuck to come back. I can't understand a freaking word he says. And then you got this guy out here who's singing songs and then he kind of cracks up. Maybe he needs to be uh, on some kind of medication. But the fact is, is come June 16th, Logan, can you feel it? Can you feel the pain that's inside of you? I'm not talking about physical pain. I'm talking about the pain that's in the gut, the pain that's in the heart, and that's in your mind. I know you feel the pain because now the hammer has been laid down and the spear has been thrusted. Can you feel it, Logan? Can you feel it? Because it's about ready to come down on you. I'm about ready to bring the fear of God into your life, boy. You better carry that towel around with you because you're going to need it to wipe your rear end when I'm done with you. And I believe him. <laughs>